What's up guys? This is the ASUS BT8 and I'm gonna run a bunch of internet speed tests and local speed tests on it while it's in wireless backhaul. So I'm gonna kick off this test while I explain what I'm doing. So we're first gonna start off with the internet speed test. So that ASUS BT8 is a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system and it's in wireless backhaul, which means it's wirelessly talking to the other ASUS BT8 that's actually hooked up to my ONT, which is kind of like a modem. So they're about 25 feet away or so, about seven to eight meters away, and there's a couple walls in between. So we got some pretty good download speeds, not quite good on the upload, and it really just depends on the device I'm testing with, and also uh, depends on the time of day on an internet speed test. However, here's, this is, the point of this video is to show you guys that you don't need Wi-Fi 7 devices to get uh, an advantage of having Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems around. So this Mac Mini has Wi-Fi 6E. It doesn't even have Wi-Fi 7. And it's wirelessly talking to that ASUS. That ASUS is wirelessly talking to the other ASUS. And that one is actually going to the internet through my ONT. Now, as you guys can see, there's no Ethernet connected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to Ethernet connect this to this wireless backhaul node, and yes, you can do that. You don't, this thing doesn't actually need to, um, this one doesn't need to be wired to the other one to actually use the ports. And here's the kicker. And by the way, I'm gonna turn off Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna turn off Wi-Fi, right. <clears throat> Sorry, I was about to cough. Um, so quit, okay. So just give it a second for it to connect via ethernet. Okay, we're gonna kick it off again. It should be connected via ethernet. And the ports on this ASUS BT8 go up to 2.5 gigabits. And this is the beauty. This is what I was trying to, this is the whole point of this video. You don't need Wi-Fi 7 devices to gain advantage of getting a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system. The fact is you can get very, very fast speeds. I mean, look, look at this. On Ethernet, and this, uh, this Mac Mini does support up to 10 gig speeds, by the way. Uh, but on Ethernet, because I'm connected to the 2.5 gigabit port, even though that's wirelessly talking to the other one, I'm still getting very, very good speeds. And if I were to do a local speed test, so this was an internet speed test. Now if I kick off a local speed test, so I'm gonna refresh this page. I have another Mac, a Mac Studio with the 10 gig port there. And so what's happening now is this guy is going through a wire to the ACS BT8, which is wirelessly talking to the other base, ASUS BT8 and the other ASUS BT8 is wired to the other Mac Studio. <clears throat> so just about 2.5 gigabit speeds. I mean, if you count for some overhead, basically getting to literally over wireless backhaul. Um, so this connection is almost ping is low, jitter is low. So this connection is almost literally almost as good as if I were to actually wire this. Now, if I were to wire this to the BT-8, the upload would be like around this 2.4 range. It would be a little bit faster. Um, but I mean, this thing is generally really, really good. So yeah, I'll leave links down in the description box below, both for the products and also for the link for the full review where I actually do all the tests, the range tests, all that stuff, go over the app and everything. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button. I have way more router videos coming up. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.